Okay, so we've just installed a Fronius Gen 24 and a BYD battery or the Fronius Reserver battery. But before that cyclone comes past Brisbane and next time again, you're going to want to know how to use it. One of the best things you can do to prep for, you know, a, a future blackout or really get to know your battery backup capability is to essentially simulate a blackout while you're, oh, it's a weekend and you've got the power and, and you're not too worried about running out. And what we always suggest you do is you go out to your switchboard or your meter box and you flick off the main breaker. So this is the one that's usually on the left-hand side of the meter box. Sometimes it's red, flick that off and the whole house will lose power. Now, the furnace takes about 10 seconds to kick in. And so after 10 seconds, you should have power on your essential backup circuits. Yeah, and we might have chosen to back up your whole house or we might have chosen probably to leave your hot water system off there, right? So now single phase, let's say, let's talk about a single phase, like 10 kilowatt inverter, which is pretty standard, right? Yeah, you know, if you turn on a dryer, the oven, the cooktop, the aircon, you'll find that limit and boom, you lose power. And now the best thing you can do is then turn off those high load items and in about 30 seconds or so, the inverter will restart. And if there's not too much load on that inverter, it'll basically restart and you're good to go. Again. It is. I think I said 30 seconds before, but I think it is a little bit longer. The, re- the, the inverter does all these tests, um, relay tests and stuff to make sure that a tree hasn't fallen through your house or something like yeah. that. So, But it is fair to say that if you are tripping and then tripping and then tripping, the phonies will stop trying. So you really want to turn off those high load items it, when it trips the first mm. one. But probably the bigger thing I would say, though, is if you've got the weekend free, just um, see how long it lasts you under normal load conditions and you have your battery fully charged and see if it lasts you a day or two days or half a day. Okay, Yorick, you hooked us about charging your battery for free every lunchtime. Yes, yes, I have. How does that work? So, look, there's different time of use power plants now in Australia, and there's so much excess solar in the grid that the wholesale price in the middle of the day is often negative. So, a good example is Ovo with their three free plan, Glowbird with their zero hero plan, where you get free electricity between the hours of 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And you can actually use this to charge your battery up and supplement the solar. And this is fantastic on rainy days or in winter when you don't have enough, because it doesn't matter what the weather is, you're always going to have a fully charged battery by two o'clock. So you should get through the night. That's ridiculous, isn't it? But it's just the way that the network is working is that everyone is pumping solar into the grid at lunchtime. And the price of power actually um, for wholesalers um, reverse is, is negative. So they would actually have to they could actually pay you for charging your battery in some instances, right? Yeah, that's that's right, 